All right, hey guys, I got a package in the mail today of one of my most anticipated items coming out this year. And no, it is not a video game. And as you can tell from the title, it is the Eco novel, Eco Castle in the Mist by Miyuki Miyabe, which was just translated and released here in America. Guys, <laughs> I can't tell you how excited I am to finally get this book and be able to read it. Let me start, I'm, I'll open it up for you so you can at least see what it looks like first. But this is something that I never saw coming. First of all, for those of you, I hope you're all familiar with Eco by now, because I talk about this game a lot. Uh, it is my favorite game of all time. But the game is known for not having much of a story to it. It's very, very light on the writing in the game. Um, the story is mostly up for the player's interpretation, because it's so light on character development and just interaction between the characters. Most of the interaction throughout the whole game is just between gestures and, um, you know, a language barrier between Iko and Yorda trying to communicate with one another, but they speak two different languages. So it's very minimal on story. Most people interpret, you know, what they really think is going on. And that's exactly what this novel is. This was released, here it is, and it's a very thick novel. Uh, this was originally, and I didn't know this until I looked it up, this was originally released on a monthly basis in a Japanese magazine. Um, every month, a little bit more of the story would be revealed. And that was back in 2002, so very shortly after the game was released. And I didn't find out about this novel until 2008, when it was printed in... Um, it, it was published as a full book. In Japan, it was released as two different um, editions. There was two books, and... Um, I, I first learned about it back in 2008, that's when I first learned that there was an actual eco novel out there. And yes, for the most part, you could call this, uh, you know, a glorified fan fiction. But, I mean, you can say the same thing about, you know, Star Wars books and, you know, stuff like that. This is basically a, a very popular Japanese author in Japan, Miyuki Miyabe, um, and she has done a couple of works that have been translated into English. Uh, one of them, which I was familiar with, is a book called Brave Story, which is actually based on um, one of the video games that I have for the PSP, Brave Story New Traveler, which was an excellent game. That's how I first learned about her book. Um, and I had no idea that she had written the Eco book. So needless to say, when I learned that there was this book out in Japan, I knew that there was never a chance that this would make its way over to America, because who the heck would ever think that some publisher would want to publish this here? in? February of this year, it was announced that Viz Media was going to publish the Eco Castle in the Mist novel for America, and I was, I couldn't believe it. I was so excited, uh, and there were a couple of fan uh, abridged versions online of the Japanese version, which thankfully I didn't read or else I would have spoiled the book for myself, but I'm just going to be so interested to see her interpretation of the story of Eco. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's not official, the, the game uh, developers and publishers uh, granted her permission to use the original cover of the game for the book which I thought was awesome because this is as you guys know I like to use this a lot as my avatar on forms and such it's one of my favorite images ever for video games and my number one video game box art for those of you that might remember that um, but I I just can't express how excited I am to get into reading this book I mean if you guys had sort of a niche title that was your favorite game of all time, and there was a novel based upon it, a 400-page novel in Japan about your favorite game ever that was never really a big release, and um, and you learned that years later that it was going to get translated for your country. I mean, you would be you would be ecstatic as I am. So let me just read you guys on the back here. Uh, what's on the back of the book? So I just stop rambling for a second here. All right, so... The people in the streets around him had been frozen in time. Some pointed toward the sky, others ran, holding their, hand, holding their heads in their hands, while still others held their mouths open in soundless screams. A boy with horns, marked for death, a girl who sleeps in a cage of iron. The castle in the mist has called for its sacrifice, a horn child, born once a generation. When on a single night in his thirteenth year, Eko's horns grow long and curved, he knows his time has come. But why does the castle in the mist demand this offering? And what will Iko do with the girl imprisoned within the castle's walls? Delve into the mysteries of Miyuki Miyabe's winning game, grand achievement of the imagination inspired by the award-winning game for the PlayStation 2 computer entertainment system, now remastered for the PlayStation 3. So the details on the back of the book here are basically summing up mostly of all, 
only almost everything that we know about the game's official story. And the last thing that I just wanted to read for you guys is the preface before you read the book that she has written. The book you hold in your hands is a novelization of the story found in the PlayStation 2 game Eco, sort of. My heartfelt thanks to the producers and creators of the game for so willingly giving me permission to write this my first attempt at novelization. They gave me free reign with the story and world found in the game so that I might find my own path uh, through the tale for which I am also eternally grateful. If you picked up this book hoping for a walkthrough of the game, look elsewhere. The order of events, solutions, the puzzles, and even the layout of the castle have changed. While it is certainly not spoiler free, someone who reads this book and goes on to play the game will find much more there that is not here. For those of you who have played the game and loved it so much as I do, I hope you will enjoy this variation of the world of Eco as much as I have enjoyed revisiting the Castle in the Mist. Miyuki Miyabe, June 2004. So yes, I am super excited to read through this book. Um, I don't know how fast I'll rush through it. I might want to take my time, or I might get addicted to it and kind of finish it really fast. But so anyway guys, I just wanted to do this video for you to let you know that this book is now out there. It's very cheap. It's only like 10 bucks on Amazon. And um, I just never thought I would be holding this book, let alone an English translated version, official version, in my hand. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing her interpretation of my favorite video game of all time. And if you guys haven't played Eco, shame on you. It's on PlayStation 2, as well as the remastered version along with Shadow of the Colossus is coming out in the US on September 27th. So play it if you haven't already, and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. So anyway guys, thanks for watching.